Today, we're going to compare the cameras on a Pixel Fold versus the Samsung Z Flip Fold 4. Right now, I'm using the front-facing camera, so let's move into the internal screen of the front-facing camera and see how that looks like. So this is the internal camera, which doesn't look the best, and the top resolution on these two is 1080p. And it is a lot harder to hold like this, so it's very weird and I wouldn't recommend it. And finally, moving on to the back cameras, which should give you the best quality, and I can still see myself recording a selfie video like this, but it is still a bit harder to hold. The first thing I want to point out is the ultra wide. The Galaxy does look a lot wider, which is nice when you're in tighter situations or when you want to make the whole picture look a bit more epic, like looking at looking at buildings or even like landscape photography. And also for the video aspect, when you're using ultra wide shooting yourself, it's nice to be able to not be so zoomed in when you're vlogging, which you can do with these two phones since you can flip out the screen and see yourself. Now for the colors, to me the Pixel Fold looks more natural and the Galaxy Z Fold 4 does tend to look more punchy or more contrastier so it depends on which one you like. Some people do like the more Galaxy look where it's already ready to be shared online or on social. And the next thing I want to point out is the mag zoom on the Pixel which is 20x but it looks pretty good. It definitely looks more sharper I guess with the whole software stuff that's happening but on a Galaxy Fold 4 you can zoom all the way up to 30x which is not a lot more but you may need that extra reach. Moving indoors and shooting food, I really like the Galaxy Z Fold 4 more because of the punchier colors that makes the food more delicious or just, just pops because it is the food that is the subject. Like the greens, the reds, the purples, it all pops out more, but there's nothing wrong with the Pixel Fold just because it looks more natural. Again, it's all personal preference, so it depends on what you like. For the portrait mode experience, the Pixel Fold is the same as any other Pixel, where the 1X is more zoomed in than any other 1X out there, and I wouldn't really recommend using 2X just because it looks more digitized and it's not as sharp as the 1X, so I would just purely stick with the 1X on a Pixel. On a Galaxy, you got 1X and 3X, which the 1X looks very wide. The 3X is more like a 1X on a Pixel Fold, where you do get that more compressed background and you do get that portrait picture look. Now for the selfie experience, it's best on these foldable phones just because for one, you can flip out the screen and use the better back camera for better quality and two, you can use the ultra wide lens which gives you the, the advantage of taking photos with more friends or just seeing more of the background. And on top of using the better back cameras, the quality will also transfer to low light, which of course front facing camera and low light doesn't do the best and it's probably the worst of all cameras on the phone. So that is another advantage there. Moving on to low light in general, I would recommend sticking with the 1X as much as possible just because you get the best quality. Shooting with the ultra wide and even telephoto, you can see a lot more noise and artifacts coming in. And I feel like the Google Pixel software does a pretty good job cleaning up some things which does help in the long run. So I just do like the consistent quality of the Pixel even though they both do struggle pretty hard during these like very low light situations. When we move outside when there's lights from street lights and buildings and such, it does look a lot better. I would say sometimes it's inconsistent on both ends because there are times where I see more noise on a Pixel and sometimes there's more noise than a Galaxy. Now shooting video in low light, the ultra wide seems to be more stable on a Pixel Fold. The Galaxy gives you a lot of more handheld movements. The quality is not the best on the ultra wide, so I wouldn't recommend using it during low light. But definitely switch over to a wide lens, you'll see a lot cleaner image on both phones. In my opinion, I am leaning towards the Galaxy just because it's a cleaner look. I can see less noise on the buildings and sky. So even though the Pixel is great for photos, I still think it does have some catching up to do with the video part. Now when we shoot during daytime, the stabilization on the Galaxy or both phones using ultra wide is a lot better and a lot more smoother. 
and the look of the ultra wide and wide on the galaxy is still wider than the pixel fold so still great for vlogging like i said earlier and you can fit a lot more things in the frame where it's nice to be able to see more of the buildings around you as you're panning around looking up and shooting at 2x and 3x on these phones on a pixel you can see those little micro jitters that's basically i'm walking and my feet hitting the ground on a galaxy you don't really see that so the stabilization is a little bit better but if i'm standing still panning around they're both fine and shooting for max zoom the pixel can go all the way up to 20x just like the photo side which is a good amount versus 12x on a galaxy and also i'm amazed how clean it looks on a pixel where you can see a lot more noise happening on a galaxy now with these phones, it's great that you can flip out the screen to see yourself to vlog and take selfies, but I think the size is just too big. It does take a while to find your comfortable position to hold it with one hand. Sometimes it's just too heavy or gets too heavy when you're vlogging, so you have to use two hands, which makes it look a bit awkward. You can also stand the phone up, which is nice to be able to still see yourself, but I feel like once you take the picture, it's kind of too angled to the point where you can't really see yourself or like see the framing. And you don't really have a lot of leeway to angle yourself since that is the only position you can point at. And that's just me using a lot of the smaller fit phones where it's just easier to adjust the angle. So I just find a camera experience much better laying it flat and using it from the back. So that is the camera comparison between these two phones. Let me know what you guys think and I do wish the Pixel will make a smaller foldable phone just like the Flip. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.